Uh, my name is Marco Martuzzi. I am Program Manager for the Environment and Health Impact Assessment Program here in the European Centre for Environment and Health in Bonn. From um, estimates of the European Environment Agency, there are more than 300,000 um, contaminated sites in, in Western Europe alone. And we're not very sure about what the health implications are. Uh, in many cases, these sites are quite uh, um, large and they have a, a, a documented environmental impact and they emit quite a bit of um, pollutants and uh, air pollutants, soil, water. They are uh, noisy and dirty. And in many cases, in some cases, um, health impacts have been um, studied and uh, documented, but for the vast majority of them, we are not really sure. So a lot of work is underway and a lot of work is uh, needed to try and um, characterize the health implications of these uh, sites. Well, we in WHO uh, in, in Europe, we've been working on, on these issues for, for many years. We consulted, uh, um, we have a strong network of experts from all over the place. We have a strong network of um, um, uh, government agencies, people in charge with the, with the decision making, the remediation plans. And uh, we, uh, over the years, we estimated uh, some uh, impacts where data were uh, available. We put together um, the methodology for, uh, for assessing the health impacts. And we are slowly uh, trying to, to create a, a European platform for, for a more systematic uh, estimation of the health impacts and uh, providing support to member states when it comes to managing these risks and, and the remediation plans. Well, it's, uh, we would like to, to have commitments from member states on uh, how to deal with, with uh, waste and contaminated sites, especially in connection to the health implications. It's important for sustainability, it's important for the decision making, and of course to mitigate the most acute uh, effects uh, of these uh, factors.